Can the most affordable meal kit that I have tested somehow stack up to the mighty blue apron? Let's find out. Hey, how's it going? This is Owen, I am with CNET.com, and in today's video we are comparing two very different meal kit delivery services. We're looking at Blue Apron, which is one of the most popular and oldest meal kit delivery services, versus Every Plate, which I had not actually heard of before I got to test them out. We're gonna talk about how they're similar, how they're different, and why you might wanna get Blue Apron, and why you might wanna get Every Plate. Let's start off by just covering their general similarities. The first big similarity between Every Plate and Blue Apron is that if you are a vegetarian, you don't eat any meat at all, you will be covered with both services. They offer quite a few vegetarian options. Blue Apron will have a wider variety of vegetarian options every single week in comparison to Every Plate. But if you are a vegetarian, you should be covered with both, no problem. The next big similarity is gonna do with their packaging. Now I do harp on packaging a lot when I'm testing these meal kit delivery services because I personally think it's rather important. One of the value propositions of a meal kit is that you have virtually no food waste because they're just sending you the exact amount of ingredients for each recipe. In theory, as long as you actually eat it in time, you shouldn't waste any food. I know me personally, I'll often go to the grocery store and I'm feeling extra healthy and I'll buy a huge bag of greens, telling myself I'm gonna make some salads. And then about two weeks later, I'll find a pretty gross bag of rotten food in the fridge, which is something you don't want. So you cut down on food waste with meal delivery kit services, but you also are getting stuff shipped to your door. It's packed in cardboard or plastic and stuff like that. So you wanna make sure the packaging is as eco-friendly as possible. They both do a pretty solid job at this. I think every plate might get a little bit of an edge because they, in order to cut down on packaging, put all of their ingredients in one smaller box inside of the bigger box. However, the ice packs that Blue Apron uses to keep your food cold during transit is actually able, once you thaw it out, to be used in your garden. If you're growing something indoors or outdoors, you have some extra plant food with the ice packs from Blue Apron. So even though they do things a little bit differently, I think they both get good scores for packaging. And then the other really big similarity that I found testing Blue Apron and Every Plate is that they both have very thorough, very easy to follow recipe cards. This is obviously pretty important, especially if you're not that comfortable in the kitchen. Personally, I do feel pretty comfortable in the kitchen, but if you're buying meal kits, there's a good chance you are not so comfortable and you wanna be able to follow these recipes to the letter. And I think it'll be really easy to do that. They have nice photographs that show off all the steps you have to take to complete the recipe. Having photos I do think is important because sometimes if you're just reading a direction in a recipe, it can be a little bit hard to follow, especially if you're a visual learner like myself. So that's really all the stuff that Blue Apron and Every Plate have in common, aside from you know being a meal kit delivery service. So let's start talking about their key differences now. And the first one I wanna highlight is pricing. When it comes to price, Blue Apron is pretty in line with a lot of other meal kit delivery services. You're looking at about $12 per serving. And when I say per serving, that is not per meal. Each meal comes with at least two servings. You can often upgrade to four. So you're looking at about $24 per meal, which equates to around $80 a week if you're buying their standard three meal per week plan. Every plate, on the other hand, calls themselves America's best value meal kit. And I was actually really surprised when I saw just how affordable they are. For their standard two serving, three meal per week kit, you're looking at spending only $5.50 per serving. If you go up to the four serving option, you're only gonna be spending $5. So you're looking at a significant amount of savings if you're going with every plate, like it's less than half the price. I did observe that the ingredients that Blue Apron sends you are just a bit more premium. They are often certified organic, and there's a lot more transparency about where the ingredients actually come from. In every plate's FAQ section on their website, they basically say, we source our ingredients from a whole lot of different places. Not really a whole lot of transparency there. 
Again, it's not really something that I put a lot of stock in, but if you do, if you care about organic ingredients, then Blue Apron might be worth the extra price. When I was actually cooking the recipes, I didn't really notice a significant difference in the quality of the ingredients themselves. So when it comes to pricing, it is nearly impossible to beat the every plate price structure. It is so affordable, especially considering even fast food meals are getting pretty expensive these days. Another really big category we need to talk about is the recipe variety and dietary options. I do think Blue Apron gets a bit of an edge here, but it's not as big as you might expect. I did mention earlier that both cater to vegetarians, but those are really the only two specific diets that you can really easily follow with both services. Since Blue Apron does offer just more variety per week, they have something like 50 different recipes you can choose from, you have a better chance of finding what you want with Blue Apron than the 17 options you have per week with every plate. And one thing I do wanna mention about the pricing of every plate, they had their premium options available every single week, and those are actually gonna cost you a little bit more per serving. So if you are really interested in keeping that price as low as possible, you don't wanna try out their premium meals, then the amount of options you have per week is actually a little bit narrowed. But what about the food itself? That's obviously gonna be really important. You don't wanna be spending money on a meal kit delivery service and not really like the recipes that you get. And I think Blue Apron still gets a bit of an edge here, which makes sense considering their price point. The recipes I got from Blue Apron were just so good. I mean, you can see my reaction to tasting some of these. Wow, that's good, okay. I knew this was gonna be really good, but Wow, so this French toast is pretty incredible. The every plate meals absolutely held their own though. There was only one that I didn't really like all that much, but it wasn't the recipe's fault. I'm just not a big seafood person and this recipe was a scallop pasta dish. If you wanna eat the absolute best chef inspired meals every single week, then Blue Apron is the obvious choice. But again, it is more than double the price of every plate. So is it gonna be really worth that big difference in price? I can't really answer that question for you. If you have more of a budget available to spend on food, Blue Apron is probably the obvious choice because their food just tastes amazing. And at $12 a serving, it is generally cheaper than going out to restaurants. Obviously, it would be more affordable to go with a service like Every Plate or just do your own grocery shopping and follow recipes out of a cookbook. But with Blue Apron, you do have that little extra element in all of their recipes that seem to take them to another level. One thing I did notice cooking with Blue Apron is that I actually learned a couple things. Like I said earlier, I'm pretty comfortable in the kitchen, but I still have a long ways to go. And I've never really breaded anything before, and that was a pretty fun process, and now I feel like I can do it again. And you also learn a little bit about flavor combos and balancing flavors. So if not only do you wanna eat really well, you also wanna learn some stuff, Blue Apron is the better choice. Every plate though is super compelling with that low price point. It's kind of amazing that they managed to be so much more affordable than their competition. And the meals are still quite good. Overall, really good and this was quite easy to put together despite it having a lot of moving parts. Although the low price point of every plate is super compelling, I'm not really sure how they managed to be so much cheaper than the competition, but the meals themselves didn't really show how affordable they are. Like they tasted quite good, Blue Apron better, but every plate's still really good. They don't have quite as much variety as Blue Apron, but again, that low price point, really hard to beat. I would say maybe check out every plate if you are interested in the idea of a meal kit delivery service and you wanna just try it out at a low price point without much commitment. Personally, if I had to really choose between the two, I would go with Blue Apron just because of how good those recipes are. And like I said, I'm still learning how to get really good in the kitchen and I think this will actually help me get better. But if I'm just looking for something quick, simple, and shockingly affordable, then every plate is probably the way to go. But what do you think? Which one of these two meal kit services would you try out? Write us down below in the comment section. And if you have any questions, write them down there. We will do our best to answer them. We should also have some links to introductory offers for both Blue Apron and Every Plate. Pretty much every one of these meal kit delivery services has a pretty generous offer for the first week or two. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. 
If you found this video at all helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We've got a lot more coming your way. We're testing out pretty much every single meal kit you've ever heard of, including ones that I've never heard of. So make sure you subscribe for more. For CNET, this is Owen, and I'll see you in the next one.